A chill wind in the Essex new town of Harlow, whose Conservative MP says his constituents are frightened about their bills, mortgages and livelihoods. I worry that over the past few weeks the government has looked like uh, libertarian jih jihadists and, and treated the whole country as uh, kind of laboratory mice in which to carry out kind of ultra, ultra free market experiments. And this is not where the, where the country is. There's been one horror sto story after another. As well as frightened, voters here are angry too. It's terrible. Don't trust her policies at all. She's changed her mind about a lot of things. It does concern me. Yeah, because I don't think she's got a clue, to be honest with you. No, I'm not scared, but I do think that this country can do better. After claims that the new Chancellor is now more powerful than Liz Truss, he was asked if he or the PM is in charge. Look, the Prime Minister's in charge. She has changed uh, the way we're going to get there. She hasn't changed the destination, which is to get the country growing. As the pair met at Chequers, Mr Hunt was being tipped to rip up another of the PM's pledges and scrap plans to bring forward a wompy cut in income tax. With some backbenchers already publicly calling for the Prime Minister to go, Tory MPs will return to Westminster after taking soundings in their constituencies this weekend and the plotting to remove her will gather pace, making her position perilous. Some MPs are already claiming the game's up for the PM. We need to have uh, confidence uh, at the top, at the, at the very top, and I fear uh, that Liz Truss uh, now is almost impossible for her to carry that confidence either with her colleagues uh, or with the country. A challenge now would require the 1922 committee to change a rule that protects a leader for a year. 22 could change the rules, but they will only do so if it is clear that an overwhelming majority of the party wish us to do, do that. And uh, I don't think we're anywhere near that at the present time. And Sky News has been told that Defence Secretary Ben Wallace, touted as a unity candidate to succeed Ms Truss, is focused on Ukraine and believes damaging stability would lead to a deserved spell in opposition. But the PM's tax cuts have been criticised by the UK's closest ally. I wasn't the only one that thought it was a mistake. The idea of cutting taxes on a super wealthy at a time when... Anyway, I just think... I, I disagree with the policy, but it's up to Great Britain to make that judgement, not me. Although Mr Hunt insists the Prime Minister is in charge, MPs believe he's now a backseat driver. John Craig, Sky News.